dog show Crust is underway, showcasing tens of thousands of prestigious creatures. That's why I played this song. Ah, I like what you've done. Yeah, well done. yeah. Uh, it's been revealed, though, that some British breeds are at risk of dying out due to a decline in popularity and the rise of more fashionable kind of designer dogs. Uh, there's currently 31 breeds that are vulnerable or at risk, including Sussex, Spaniels and Collies, would you believe? So, should we be fighting to save these breeds, or should we just accept that some will always be more popular than others? Uh, we're joined now by some very special guests. Three endangered breeds of dog and their owner. Firstly, we've got Diana and her eight-year-old bloodhound. That's Murphy. Uh, Diana's been had bloodhounds as pets for 46 years. Look at the size of Murphy. Oh. And this is Fiona and her six-month-old Sussex Spaniel called Ash, who's been trained to be a working dog. Oh. And uh, making everybody melt. John's here it. with his four-year-old Scottish Terrier, Hamish. Oh, That's a dog you recognise. It's a great dog. It's a great dog. We're also joined by John's wife and, of course, Aim Hamish's other parent, the mum, uh, Sharon Hendry, who says less popular breeds shouldn't decline in favour of fashionable dogs. And we've got dog behaviourist Nigel Reed who says if people don't want a particular breed, then it means there's no need to save them. How can you say that when you see these gorgeous dogs here who are all on the list of breeds that are dying out? Uh, well, there's about 20 breeds. You could have looked at those and said why, or more than 20 breeds that have died out before, and there's no one really misses them. No Go on, give us one. So um, a Cumberland, um, uh, what's it called? A uh, Collie. So these, the, so so there are breeds that have disappeared yes. because they've become less popular and they're gone mm. forever. Yeah. Uh, so you don't believe you, th you think there's enough breeds out? There's enough options. We've got enough. There's over 300, do. and uh, I'm not. You know, I'm, I'm sure there's enthusiasts that keep them uh, around. And it's no problem. I've got no, no nothing against Some people, people keeping them around. Some of them are down to like 30 or 40 dogs. I mean, Regular they're down to very yeah. small mm. amounts of dogs left. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't look at you. You don't care. Well, is, is he just unfeeling about your lovely little Hamish? Or can you see his point? That if there are so many dogs without homes and people aren't running to these particular breeds, why should we keep them going if they're just not popular anymore? Well, obviously, as Hamish's mum, yeah. I'm going to be biased. But I think the point I want to make it is the fact that, you know, really dogs are not just dogs. You know, they're an expression of our personality as owners. And they're also an expression of our culture and our cultural heritage. Yeah. And particularly some of these dogs that we have in the studio yeah. now, you know, they're part of what it means to be, to be British. And I think particularly in this climate that we're in at the moment, this sort of Brexit climate, we're all feeling a bit wobbly about identity yeah. and, you know, what it means to be um, British. I think it's nice to have these anchors yeah. that sort mm -hmm. of root us in our culture. And certainly a Scotty, for me, is, <coughs> is part of that. And some of the dogs that are dying out though um i think the spaniel we have in the studio it was originally a working dog and therefore needs you know a lot of training and a lot of exercise and a lot of you know work to have it as a pet so maybe it's because some of the things that we used to use dogs for we don't do as much now yeah and I think actually that's a really important point to make because, you know, even though, you know, I would obviously like to save the Scotty, you know, all of these mm. breeds that are in the studio, you know, I wouldn't want people to just sort of rush out and think, oh, I'd like to buy Scotty because he mm. looks cute. Because actually it's a very difficult breed to handle. Is you know, it? In what way? Well, they're just incredibly stubborn. It's part of their charm. They don't <laughs> do anything they're told. Um, Is that why they're dying out, though? The honest answer is I don't know. I mean, I know that pretty much every time we take Hamish for a walk, we're stopped by someone who says, oh, you never see those anymore. My grandma had one or my granddad had one, but you don't see any. I wonder if it's part of the Instagram kind of culture in where people like cute, fluffy dogs. Mm. Um, and I mean, Hamish's got a beard. You know, yeah. he's, he's a character, but he's not a cute, fluffy Beards dog. Beards are very really. fashionable on Instagram as far as I can well, see. Well, that's uh, true. Nigel, so, so the last word to you on this, really, because of course, uh, Sean makes a really good point about our identity, about who they are, about our history, our heritage. Mm. Is there something to be looked at there? I reckon there's about 2,000 people at home with Scotty's all called Hamish at the moment. I don't think they're quite as rare as what you think. I've seen loads of them. Um, but uh, yeah, again, when it's uh, this uh, precarious time of Brexit and, and, and culture, I don't think anybody's thinking of Scotty. I think they're probably thinking about keeping their homes rather than uh, keeping that breed. Mm. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you to the I dogs as well. I've missed that blood They've been very well They look well lovely. Look at them. They're so distinctive. Oh, they are. They are. Thank you, everybody. Uh, let's get some weather. Here's Alex.